Hey guys, welcome to our notes. Miller 7.6, Rationalization, Part 1. So, remember we defined what a simplified radical is by these three rules. Number one, the radicand has no factor power greater than the index. We learned how to simplify those in section 7.3, if you want to look back on that. Now, for 7.6, we're going to focus on these two. When the radical, when the radicand um, does have a fraction or it has a radical in the denominator. So if these two things happen, one of those two, we need to rationalize the denominator. When we're rationalizing the denominator, we're multiplying the numerator and the denominator by an appropriate expression to create a whole number denominator. That's our whole goal, a whole number denominator. That's the whole purpose of rationalizing a denominator because a fraction has to be part of a whole number. So some of these types of problems you've seen in the past with square roots and rationalizing those denominators, but now there won't only be square roots. So in example one, we want to simplify the radical expression. So first, in part A, I see there's a radical in my denominator that is not simplified. In order to rationalize this denominator, I'm going to multiply my new denominator by square root of 3 because that would make the square root of 9, which is a whole number. But if I multiply by my denominator by that expression, I have to multiply my numerator by the same term to keep my fraction the same. So that becomes 6 square root 3 over square root 9 which is 6 square root 3 over 3, whole number. It's been rationalized. So now 6 divided by 3 becomes 2 square root 3. And that is simplified because there is no radical in the denominator. So here if I look at part b, I can break this down to be square root of 1 over square root of 5, which is 1 over the square root of 5. Now, we do not like to leave radicals in the denominator. So I can multiply the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 to make the square root of 25, which is a whole number. But if I multiply that to my denominator, I have to multiply it to my numerator. So 1 multiplied by square root 5 is square root 5 over square root 25. Well, square root 25 is 5. Now that I have a whole number in my denominator, it is simplified. Okay. Let's look at C for another square root. So remember, simplify your, simplify your fraction before you simplify your radical. These are both divisible by 3. So this is square root of 1 over square root of 6, which is 1 over square root 6. So now we don't like radicals in the denominator. I can multiply by square root 6 to make square root of 36, which is 6. So this becomes square root 6 over 6. I skipped a step there. So let's move on to the next video to finish D, E, and F where they are not square roots but other types of roots.